Hello and a welcome to Piston Heads. This is the car show where we try and help you guys find out what the best car to use for a situation and also where we review new cars that release into GTA Online. My name is Troy Rawson and this is Kyle McClure and here's what you can expect in the upcoming weeks. My understeer is there. Uh, oh, I've uh, ended in, up in a shipping container. So I'm going to set Kyle off with the grenade. I'm not going to throw it at his car. And uh, yeah, when the grenade explodes, you'll go. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready indeed. Oh, shit. I've got a policeman right up my anus. That's not very that good. That sounds, sounds a bit sexual, really, but... Race exhaust is ready to go. <laughs> Gonna give me all of the boost. There we go. Oh, Kyle has got a much better launch than me. Three, two, one, go! Obviously, we've both got four-wheel drive. Kyle's four-wheel drive oh is days. a little bit stronger. I'm having to turn to keep it in a straight line. <coughs> I just, I just see, I, I didn't see your car then. All I saw was this bonnet lying here. I'm gonna not cheat but I'm just gonna go up here right get out the car get out the car get out the car oh my god come on come on come on I, I forgot to mention my back wheels are floating back out. right I'm just gonna do a loop around the garage like Kyle did this class is as Robin the star basically I'm gonna do two laps around right get back in the car so the challenge is a go there we go. Go, 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 go. This is going to be a slick J turn. There we go. So that is a brief uh, summary of what you can expect in the coming weeks. But on tonight's episode, me and Kyle go out to the Grand Sonora Desert to determine what the cheapest and best off road you can buy for 20 grand. <laughs> so we're uh, we're here with our vehicles. Um, we've we've both brought our vehicles. We had a budget of twenty grand to buy the vehicle. It had to be in the off-road class, um, and the only upgrades that were excluded was the paint job and tinted windows. They were the only two upgrades that we decided to. A discount from the price. All visual mods and performance mods were included. So, Kyle, do you want to talk us through your um, Rebel? What upgrades you put on it? Well, I don't think you could really call them upgrades, except so I'd probably just call it degrades because of the amount that I took off the vehicle. Um, so, as you can see, it's obviously got um, no rear to it at all, it's all just uh, chassis. With no, I, a yeah, I did notice that. You've sort of taken away the whole back of the truck it's just but, three wheels but the, way I, the way i see it is the less there is at the back the less there is to spin out fair enough so the less at the back the less to go wrong <laughs> exactly exactly and um i decided to go for a level three engine conversion so it's uh it's a bit faster I wouldn't say it's as fast as like anything you'd probably pick up off the street but um, but yeah, and I want some just basic off-road tires. I only had around yeah, I know it's the uh... I, I, yeah, I only had around six thousand to work with for the tires, so I ended up spending four thousand and fifty on these ones, and um, they came out pretty all right. And the paint job was stock, or have you changed? No, that? I have changed that. Um, that is a, I think it's a matte grey. Um, okay. I, I just wanted to add to the because um, it was a rusty rebel. It wasn't a clean rebel because it was rusty. I wanted to add to yeah. the kind of old and tattered effect of it. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. It's a very serious sort of barja looking truck. So I think you'll do very well with this, especially with those off road tires. Which, when we come over to my vehicle, um, I was not able to afford that much on my vehicle. 
I purchased the vehicle for nine grand, which gave me eleven grand for upgrades. So I painted the vehicle, but that wasn't included in the price. Um, so the only upgrade I have been able to do is a level three engine conversion, which cost me a further nine grand. So I still had two grand left, um, which I haven't spent on anything. So I didn't use all my budget, but I couldn't really purchase anything with two grand. So I've gone for a paint job and an engine upgrade. I couldn't fit any tires. So these are the stock tires, so they're not going to give me much traction, but um, yeah. So how much did you end up spending on your truck? Um, altogether, if I was to just do a quick calculation here, um, give me a second. It would have probably amounted to... Fifteen thousand five hundred and eighty pounds or dollars in this case spent. Okay, so you so I used uh, eighteen grand, so you've used about fifteen. So yeah, that's one point to you then. Uh, you actually managed to uh, to gain the first point just from. Uh, from spending less money so uh, we're gonna jump in the trucks and we're gonna go to our first challenge uh, with off-road vehicles and really any vehicles in GT Online we need to know how fast they are so we're gonna go to the Redwood Lights track and we're gonna do a three lap race over there and uh, see which vehicle is the fastest so uh, we'll meet you over there Well, that, that that was one yeah. hell of an entrance right there. Kyle's uh, just getting a little bit of a practice lap in there before we begin. Yeehaw, partner! Um, but... <laughs> oh my God, he's actually uh, he's uh, he's actually gone and changed his clothes so he fits the truck. I didn't notice as well. You've got nets on the windows, which will make it good for racing. Yeah, I, I, I put the nets on mainly because um, the hostages kept trying to jump out the window. So just... Also, you don't want your cowboy hat to fly off now. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Even though I, I take it off as soon as I get in, just in case anyway. So, Kyle, do you know the track? Yes, I do. Uh, we're going to do a three-lap race, and the crane will signal the finish line. So, after the third lap, the first person to pass the crane will be the winner, obviously. So, um, do you want to start us off? Yeah, I'll chuck a grenade. <laughs> oh, this is this is how we start things in GTA. Okay, let me get a grenade. Okay. When it explodes, we go. And we're off. Now, I will say, <laughs> Kyle's lost a lot of weight on his truck. And my truck, I was just saying, feels very heavy. So... so no, it's not the same thing that happened last time. Wow. <laughs> we got this, we got this. Right, I'm going to take advantage of this early lead. My truck does feel very heavy. Um, so... I don't know how well it's going to cope. Uh, so far, it's doing okay, mainly because Kyle's an incompetent driver. Ladies and gentlemen, we've lost a we've lost a <laughs> driver's door. <laughs> there but we we're, go. We're, we're fine. It's a three-lap race, so anything could happen. I could spin out. Kyle could spin out again. You've just jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just fallen off the track. The passenger door's now lost as well. Oh, Kyle's coming. Get back on the track. Okay. <laughs> We're taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, using me as a bloody turning thing. Oh, bit of handbrake there. Just bounce off the rail for turning. And these, and these Chuck it in. Need to use the rail Or you could just brake for the corner, you know? No. 
so I'll say that truck has some serious speed. I mean, my truck is not hanging about. It's it's pretty quick, I will say. But your truck is not hanging around. I think a lot of it's to do with the, um, the tires that were put on the track. I think so, yeah. I don't think I can get the power down. Because obvious, obviously yours are meant for more street, so they're meant for more kind of racing purposes on uh, on normal land, whereas mine are actually fully meant for. Um... Oh, he's overcooked that corner. <laughs> yeah, Go, mine are actually more meant for down, off road. Truck. So it's... But but still, even yeah. even though this doesn't have a back end, it is still it is still spinning out as much as it probably would with a back end. And due to more incompetent driving, I then again hit the wall. Oh, he's hit the wall again? Oh, I was just on two wheels there. Yeah, that's what I'm frequently finding myself doing on this course. Oh! <laughs> Not a lot of traction. I just watched you roll then. Not a lot of traction Ooh. going on in this race. I'll say that, everyone. Oof. These bumps don't do my truck much good. I didn't go for any suspension upgrades, mainly because I wanted to keep my truck as high as possible, because it's an off-road car, uh, but that has made it, like, basically jelly for cornering, yeah, so that's, that off -roading is, is uh, off-roading will be good, because I've got the ground clearance, but cornering, it wants to tip a lot, and I just spun out on that corner. As well with my suspension at the moment. My suspension is like that high at the moment, and because I've got obviously a lot of my a lot of my truck isn't here anymore, moved. The suspension is actually getting caught on the railing, and I'm actually ended up going over the railing. Yeah, I've managed to pull a bit of a lead here from Kyle. If I can just not spin out for this last lap, I think we've got this one in the bag. I probably just jinxed myself. I'm on two wheels again there, going for the jump. Hoping to get a good catch up here. I'm um, I'm coming oh. up on the jump as well. Hopefully I can catch up quite well. I can see Troy just on the corner, but yet again I've gone into the pipes. This is actually a uh, very bad situation here this as thing... I'm trying to reverse. Oh, I've rolled, I've rolled my truck. This thing has quite a lot of understeer, I will say. And when Nick that- Nick into the lead <laughs> for a very brief moment. He's now doing the course in reverse. Until and now it's turned into bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> My truck has a lot of understeer, I'll say that. And when you hit that understeer off a jump, it, yeah, it does roll. Quite a bit, I know, yeah. On bo both ends as well. Even, even with, even with, uh, like especially made off-road tires compared to street tires and um, it's the traction is still pretty bad on this off-road but i will admit these uh street tires are doing me okay on the tarmac and kyle's rolled again <laughs> how many how many times are you gonna roll in this so, video so many times i think actually because because this vehicle it's not i don't think it's made for corners you know see oh, neither's I've yours lost the door. well I've shedded a bit of weight. You've it's you've lost now the, the super Legera model. You've lost the door. Now let's see if you can lose the race. Oh, very nice. Kyle's uh, using those railings there. Oh! oh! We've punted him off the course. Quickly, cheeky handbrake into that corner. Get the power down. My <laughs> understeer is there. Oh, I've. Uh, and you didn't in a shipping container. Go on. Go, 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 go. Kyle spun. He spun. Yes. Get the power down, truck. We're coming up to the finish line. As the time comes down to the last couple of seconds, try and go desperately try and get to the end. Of it. Who's oh, hit him first? oh, no. <laughs> and the winner has been decided. Um, I've lost some more uh, body components on my vehicle. I've lost a bonnet and another radar. And. No, I've still got the trunk. That is race, everybody. That is race. That is another point for Kyle there in the Rebel. Which the play, play, cheaper play. truck is uh, coming out on top at the moment. 
playing a bit dirty, sp spinning the people out, but that, that, that's all you can do when you're off-road racing. Just, you, you know, look at these models, they're not actually made to stay on the feet, are they? Off-road cars are obviously gonna flip every now and again, so so getting the odd um, the odd bump in every now and again is uh, is quite helpful. I've just noticed we both have a little bit of camber going on. Really? My my uh, oh, front yeah, wheels have that. got a bit of camber. Your back wheels have got a bit of camber going on. Uh, that's, that's probably what's affecting a lot of it. But anyway, we're going to move on to our next challenge, which is actually going to be on uh, Sandy Shaw's airfield. So we'll see you over there. So for our next challenge, uh, you can probably see what we've got in mind. We were on about the off-road tyres, comparing them to the street tyres. So I wanted to do this little challenge. We've got some tarmac asphalt here, and... Uh, over there we've got some um, dirt so what I want to do is see which you know which truck is better on the tarmac which one is better on the dirt if Kyle's car comes out better on the dirt then I think we can confirm that the tyres did help him win the race I think that's fair to say yeah definitely uh, also Kyle's car is smoking a bit so uh, yeah I think so, um, we're going to have a little push of war here to see which car is better. First on the dirt and then, uh, sorry, first on the asphalt and then on the dirt. So, uh, on go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Obviously, we've both got four wheel drive. Kyle's four-wheel drive oh is days. a little bit stronger. I'm having to turn to keep it in a straight line here. Um, <laughs> there's quite a lot of smoke, and I think it's fair to say Kyle won that one. Uh, he definitely pushed me back there. You can see where we sort of started off on this line here, and the... Uh, the tracks went all the way back, so fair play, Kyle. You won that and one. And if we can get, a, if we can get an instant replay there to see it, um, see it unfold, it did go down. Like, it, it, for some reason, it was just so one-sided on that. It, it was a little bit. Um, did you set off on the handbrake? Yeah, yeah, off of handbrake, yeah. Because I, when I set off, I just... I, I didn't have handbrake on, I just... Uh, you know, flawed it as soon as I said go. I just flawed it, so uh, that that might have had something to do with it. But we're going to have another go on the dirt now and see how that pans out. So I'm going to try the handbrake technique this time. Okay, so we're ready for the next one. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. This is a. Uh, this is a little bit different. Uh, my four-wheel drive is not really working. I've I've only got the rear wheels spinning. The front wheels are not really doing much. Oh, this is very evenly matched. I wasn't expecting this. You've got four wheels spinning. Yeah, uh, my front were, wheels are not spinning. Well, I think that is, uh, we'll class that's that as draw. a draw. I think that's definitely yes. a draw. So, Kyle, you get another point for um, winning the first the first round. Um, we oh, both get just... a point for the draw. <laughs> Bumper just came off. <laughs> Not that it matters. Um, <laughs> my front bumper is sort of still on, but half of it is like disappeared. Half of it's in the tire. Into the vehicle. Yeah, half of it is in the tire. So, um, you've actually won three challenges. I've got one point for the draw. Um, so, technically, you've won overall. But I do have one more challenge in mind that I would just like to try and actually see which one of our vehicles is um, faster. So we're going to head out now to a dirt path and give our suspension good test. 
so we'll meet you over there. Right, so everyone, welcome back. We're probably only about... Oh, no, that's a shotgun. We're probably only about 100 feet away from the last challenge, but this time what we are going to be doing is we are going to be testing how well our cars can actually perform on just pure dirt track and doing the same course. Um, firstly, Troy is going to drive to the end of me timing. Obviously, I'm going to add 10 seconds before we even start so that I win, but um, we're going to test each other going from one side to the end and then... Whoever gets the fastest lap obviously will test which is the fastest. This will all go off of how they handle, if we spin out or not, and obviously how well the driver is. Obviously me and Troy are both good drivers, and um, yeah, we'll just see how this gets going. I will just say, you might have a slight disadvantage with this because your engine is still smoking. Like, literally, you could have a barbecue on that thing. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm I'm ready for this. Tell me when to right, go, so and I'm just gonna floor it. I'm gonna chuck a grenade, and the moment the grenade blows up, I'm gonna start my timer. Okay. Right, we'll get ready. Here we go. And we're off. That was the slowest getaway from a start I have ever seen, but nevertheless. Uh, this is a very bumpy road, so it's going to test our suspension quite nicely. Which is why I'm glad I didn't lower it. We might actually beat the train to the end, or not. Oh yeah, we're gaining on the train. Yeah, we're going to beat the train. Coming up to the first jump. Yeah, that was fine. Handled quite well. No problem. I'm coming up to the second jump. Yeah, no problem. If you hit these at a lot higher speeds, um, your truck will jump. Which I think Kyle's will probably jump a bit better on these because it's lighter. But coming up to the finish line, and there we and go. That is that is one minute exactly on the clock. One minute exactly. Wow. Yep. Obviously, you've got 80 milliseconds, but um, in terms of in terms of seconds, eight, like that's not good. Okay, so uh, we're back. Um, I did a one minute exactly. Kyle's lined up for his run. Uh, I'm gonna chuck a grenade, and uh, when it goes off, you've got your I'll timer start ready. The timer. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my timer ready. How do I throw a grenade? <laughs> there we go. When it goes off. There we go. Time is off. And so is Kyle. That was a much faster launch than me. Did you handbrake that? Yeah, yeah I handbraked that. Um, I, I didn't handbrake mine again. You didn't handbrake it. Okay. That's <laughs> no. a bit of miscommunication going on here. <laughs> Doesn't it, matter. That comes down to driver technique. It, exactly. Kyle clearly yeah, knows that that is a better launch. I think I spun the tires up a bit too much, but you are motoring along here a lot faster than I, I was. Uh, but we, you hit we the first jump and actually <clears throat> got air, so... I think we both have the same, um... We actually have the same engine upgrades, if I'm not wrong. I'm and coming up, up to the end, and... Um, well, it's 4-1 to you, Kyle, basically. <laughs> Do you want what? to know what your time yeah, was? Yeah, what, what, what are we looking at? Your time was a 49 second point six nine. So, so, 11 seconds about, faster than me. That isn't too bad to be fair. Because in comparison to what, um... That it, is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I, th I, think, I think it's actually, again, down to technique. Like, I think if we were to redo your tests with a uh, handbrake self and mind you, they are uh, a spin off self, you never know what the results could have been. That's true. That is very true. Uh, but that is it for this challenge, and it was 4 1 to Kyle. So, if you are looking for a cheap, reliable, barbecue vehicle 
to go off-roading with, then don't take the Rancher XL, although you can fit more people in it. Take the Rusty Rebel and take a load of body panels off it, is basically what we're saying from this. And also make sure you put off-road tyres on, because otherwise it won't be as good. And also make sure that you keep the headlights, the headlights are essential. Headlights are essential. At night time you won't be able to see much. Although we do have our uh, interior light still, which is nice. Oh yeah. So, so we can that, see that in, in the cab. Yeah. I can see I can see my weak hold, so Yeah. But with, the, with that being said, back to the studio. Right everyone, we're back in the studio now. I'm back here with Troy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's going to be everything for today's video. Um, obviously, we've just done the under twenty thousand off road challenge with the Rebel and the what was yours again, Troy? The Rancher XL, the beautiful orange and black. The beautiful orange and black, but couldn't sadly keep up to the rusty Rebel with its horrible grey paint. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. New challenges will probably be coming out on the Modern Game Gaming channel soon. And if you want to see more um, gameplay from either of us, both of us will probably load um, different content for different age groups. So if you have enjoyed, remember to hit that like button, comment down below on what you think we should do next. And make sure you um, go and I check out Kyle's channel at KyleMcClure527. I will leave a link in the description below. Yeah, well, if that's everything, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!